Okay, so this question I get a lot, and it's usually from guys who are just now getting into the field, or it's from guys who have been in the field for a while who have like become very cynical about their job, which can happen. So hey guys, take a break, take a breather, realize where you are, and count your blessings. But anyways, is it still worth it to become a network engineer to break into this field? <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it is. No, it doesn't have the same... Uh, a marketing campaign that programming does. And what do I have to say about that? I have to say that's that's a good thing. Um, let me tell you something. When you're going through school, and some of you go to high schools where they actually have like network classes for you. They have CCNA classes, which I think is insane. I never had that. Where was that? When I was in high school. But when I was in high school, I had no idea what a network engineer was. I, I, I knew about programming. I knew a programmer was a... a, a path you could take. I knew about that from when I was like little, like young. When I went to career day, I took a, a keyboard to school as like a show and tell kind of thing. I said I wanted to be a programmer because I didn't know any better. That's all I knew. But network engineering and system engineering and really any of those kind of admin roles or engineer roles in that space, it's not advertised. And only up until very recently have uh, colleges and universities been tailoring programs to network engineers. Because mainly you have, if you wanted to go into school to become something in IT, it was usually like a, a software engineering kind of thing, a, a computer science uh, education track. But no one ever knew what network admins did or, or if that was a thing you could actually become. So it was kind of like a secret path you could take. Um, I only ever knew about it when I got on the help desk at a, a company and I saw, hey, what's... What's that guy over there doing? He's got a black screen up. He's typing some things. He looks like he's from the Matrix. Wait, is, it, is that is he is he in the Matrix? No, but <laughs> I, I'm like, well, that that guy's doing something cool. So when I found out what it was, I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna do that. This sounds really cool. So that's the thing. It, network engineer. If someone asks, like when people ask me, what do you do? I'll try to say I'm a network engineer, and they won't know what that is. So I'll just end up saying, uh, I'm in IT. And what do they say? Oh, well, you, uh, you can fix my computer. I'm like, oh, I, I probably could, but I, I haven't done that in a long time. I, I don't, I, actually, I probably can't. Computers have changed so much. I have no idea. But like I said, it's, it's one of those careers that the PR isn't great for it. And that's where it's kind of good for people like you and me who actually know about it. Because there's not many people going into that field. Well, not as much as programming anyway. But see, people are getting all scared because... Uh, network automation's coming, uh, coming or network automation's here, and they're thinking, oh, we're gonna be replaced by machines, we're gonna be replaced by programmers. Um, to them, I say false. And I've talked about this a lot. Yes, network engineering is changing, and it's newsflash, it's always been changing. And yeah, you're gonna have to learn a bit of programming. Ooh, hey guys, I told you there'd be more stuff, so here it is. Be fast, the first five people, first five, to comment below, hashtag Python, we'll get the Network Engineer Python course from David Bumble. Ready, go. And also, keep watching because I'm still giving away five of his new Packet Tracer course, so keep watching for that. Anyways, keep going guys, appreciate it. You might have to learn a lot of programming depending on what your role is, but we're, we're used to that guys. Network engineering is changing. So to answer the question, is it, is it still a viable career? abso frickin' lootly, yeah. <laughs> um, it's still rare. I mean, I, I get calls all the time. Now, I live in a good market. I live in Dallas. But uh, during the hiring season, I'm getting three or four calls a day. They, they can't fill the positions. It's a hot career path, seriously. Now, yeah, the barrier to entry can be kind of tough sometimes get, because every, every role is like, yeah, we want you to have two to three years of experience or five years of experience or 10 years of experience. And you're like, well, how do I become one if I need experience to be one? Well, yeah, there's, there's little hurdles there, but there's, there's tips and tricks, which I'll share later on, and, uh, and there's ways you can market yourself to get these roles. But no, yeah, it's, it is the most, I, I think it's like cheating, because I got, I got so far so fast in my career, just because I had a little bit of drive, a little bit of hustle, and, and because the competition really isn't there. Uh, it's it's like a it's like a it's like a shortcut to be honest. It's a shortcut to success. So all you guys who are you know maybe watching like the people who talk about this career in a negative light, saying oh it's all going downhill, uh, become a uh, programmer. That's the only only path left. Nah, network engineers 
are going to be needed very much so in the future. And, and, and now, <laughs> now, we need you now. So if you're going through your CCNA, dude, don't lose heart. You're gonna have a, an amazing career. As long as you hustle, as long as you keep learning, you will have an incredible career and you will make some good money, trust me. And that's really it, yeah. And if you're wondering, well, should I go into this? Should I start the CCNA, CCNA study? Yeah, you should, it's, it's awesome. It's really fun. You're gonna make some money. You'll you'll be able to provide for your family, uh, and you'll be able to do it fast. I did it fast. Well, that's about it, guys. Just want to throw that out there. It is absolutely still worth it to become a network engineer in today's climate, career climate, IT climate. Just do it. It's gonna be fun. And also, uh, for all my CSENT CCNA guys, giving away packet tracer for uh, uh, C, uh, packet tracer labs for CCNA. Uh, David Bomble's new course, giving away five today. So if you wanna win, if you wanna be one of those five lucky winners, here's how you enter. So today I want you to go to my Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, get on Instagram, come on, it's fun. You get to look at pictures, it's really fun. Plus I'm on there and I post on there all the time, so check it out. But anyways, go on my Instagram, at Network Chuck, and uh, I'll post about this video, leave me a comment. Um, hashtag CCNA Lab, and let me know what you wanna do with it and uh, I'll pick five winners today. So that's about it, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow.